Hey guys, James and James Art Photography here in collaboration with Polkadot Bride. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a bit of an instructional how-to video surrounding groom prep on your wedding day. We're gonna go over how to do the perfect pocket square, the perfect bow tie, and the perfect tie knot. So guys, stick with me. All right guys, so step number one, let's grab your pocket square, your bow tie, um, or your tie, depending on what you're working with today, and get rid of all of them. Because step number one is lubrication. It's your big day, and in order to make these otherwise frustrating tasks a little bit more simple, we definitely need to make sure that we have a little bit of fuel in the system before we get started. All right, now, before we start our groom prep, we're obviously gonna to need to clean up. We don't wanna be doing a pocket square or something on top of a dirty table, so. Perfect. All right, so right now, we're going to do the pocket square. So what we're doing is the three-wave pocket square. Probably the most uh, popular one and the one that I see most frequently on, um, on my grooms that I photograph. I was really intimidated by it myself. Uh, it actually looks really complicated and really tricky. Uh, but we're going to go through it today. It's only going to take you 30 seconds to do properly, so stick with me. First things first, lay your pocket square out in a square shape with the uh, underneath side of it facing up. So there's my facing side. This is the underneath side. It's usually going to have a tag. Now what you want to do is fold this corner across to the edge. Bring this across to you, just like that. So now you should have a triangle shape. You're going to grab the right corner Pinch the middle and go across. Now again, you have another triangle shape, but a bit smaller. And as you can see, we're starting to get these little waves just in here. That's what we're gonna see. Now what you wanna do is pinch it one more time in the middle, put your finger here, grab this side and fold it across. Now as you can see here, one, two, three, we've got three waves, so that's perfect. So, go ahead and spin it again, so the triangle is always pointing upwards. Pinch it in the middle, grab the bottom right hand corner, fold it up, and now, pinch the top. This is the tricky bit, where it can kind of all come undone. And flip it over, just like that. And grab this bit, and pull it down. So you're grabbing here, pulling down. So it's the opposite way, but as you can see, they're both connecting at the bottom. Then, you pick it up, and just kind of peel it out a bit like that. When you pop that into your jacket pocket, it's going to look like a nice three-waved pocket square. You can always play with it and kind of open the waves up a little bit as you need to. Now in a second, I'll show you how to actually insert it into the jacket pocket without ruining the pocket square. All right, so we've got our pocket square here. Grab it like this, grab it from the bottom, because if you grab it from the top, it's just gonna come undone. And then just go across to your jacket pocket, slide it in, it'll feel like you're gonna really rip it apart. And what you wanna do is get it in a bit past the actual folds, and then all you do is grab the outsides on each end, pull them, and there you go. You can pull it up if you wanted a bit more pocket square, or you can push it down if you want it a little bit less. It's always easy to change. And there you go, three way pocket square. Now that we've got the pocket square done, there are two options. You can either do a tie or a bow tie. I'm gonna start off with a tie because, look, let's face it, it's so much easier and you've probably worn a tie many times before. So we're gonna start off with a simple knot. And you just pull, crap. Wrong. Can't we get this timed on now? First thing, pop your collar up. You can either have your button done up or undone. Completely up to you. I prefer to have mine done up to start with. Get the tie, like this. This side on the right hand side of your body. Simple knot, right hand side, over the top. Pinch, underneath, and back over, like that. Up, and under. So now you should have a tie that looks like this. Then again, over, underneath, back over, 
and under again. So you're basically repeating that step twice and pulling it through. Now, what you'll see is, you have this little bit here, get this, slide it through there, pull it down, and then it's just a matter of tightening it up to the point that you're happy with it. So usually, tug on this bit to kind of pull it up. Pop your collar down, if your collar will go down. Once you're happy with it, get this, tuck it through the tag at the back so it doesn't poke out the side halfway through the night. You don't want to look like a slob. And then, there we go. Simple knot. So what we're going to do now is a Windsor knot for those of you who want to take it up to the next level. As per usual, get the tie, over the top, right hand side, over the top of the left hand side. Same thing as a simple knot. Get this, underneath, pull it through. So, should have a tie that looks something similar to that. Now what you're going to do is get this, wrap it around the back, like that. So it should be on this side now. And now, you're gonna get it and throw it through the top. So now, as you can see, you've got even sides on both sides. It's gonna give the knot a really nice symmetrical kind of look that the simple knot doesn't have. Now, you got your tie, it's facing away from you. You're gonna get it, throw it over the top, just like the simple tie, pulling it through the loop, just like the simple tie. And again, straight through here, pulling it down, just like that. And now, pulling it up. Get the collar down. Then, as per usual, go to the back, put it through the tongue. Wins a knot tie. And of course, for the very dashing gentleman, if you'd like to wear a bow tie, good luck, we're going to learn how to do a bow tie today. I have an extremely flamboyant bow tie because I'm a little bit eccentric. And what you're gonna do is put it over your neck. I should put my collar up first. Put it over your neck, pull it tight, and just tie it like just a, a general knot and just see roughly how it feels. So pull it just like this. Now, it's not too tight, so that's all right. Now, you're gonna have the bow tie sitting like this. One side is gonna be, let's say about two, two and a bit centimeters longer than the other side. What you're gonna do is grab and pinch and then, baby fish, giraffe, elephant, and then up, over, and through the back. It's no good. Okay, I've got a solution. If you're wearing a bow tie to your wedding, get yourself one of these. Ta-da! Magic! It is so much easier. Learning how to do a bow tie is an absolute nightmare. However, one of these, very simple. Simply get your bow tie, pull it around, clip it on, pop your collar back down, and there we go, bow tie. All right guys, and that is it. So what have we learned today? First things first, get yourself a drink because these are gonna be somewhat frustrating tasks, particularly if you're not used to doing them. However, you now know how to do the perfect three-way pocket square, both a simple knot, which was not simple, and a double Windsor knot, and of course we know how to do a perfect bow tie. Don't worry, my secret is safe with you. This is actually my bow tie from my wedding. That should get you pretty much through groom prep. The rest of groom prep is drinking, hanging out with your mates, and just getting ready for the biggest day of your life. So get ready, enjoy it, be excited, and you don't have to stress about this anymore.